Hi everybody, this is Tasha, the Crafty Crowd. I am going to be making um, a flower from the Wilton gum paste book. I'm going to make the orchid. So I've never made this flower before, so I'm going to follow the directions. Put this up here. Okay, so my hands are a little wet. I just washed them. So I have um, some glue here, some gum paste some glue that I made yesterday with some gum paste and water. So I got that here. I have um, I have my wires. I don't know if you can, it's kind of shadowy. I have my wires here. Um, I have Crisco, which I got a little red food coloring in there. And I have my Um, what is it called? Cornstarch. Okay. So what I'm going to do first, I'm going to go ahead and get some gum paste. I'm going to make these orchids white. I'm going to start with white and then I'm going to um, color them at another time. So I'm going to do 50-50 gum paste um, and couple of them. Like I said, I've never made these. So you want to make sure your gum paste is always covered. So I'm just going to use a, a cup for that. Put the rest of my other gum paste in here. Go ahead and have everything laid out. You're going to need your, your, your mats here. You're going to need your, you see all this stuff? Okay. I have because the gum paste dries out quick, especially when it's so humid and hot. Okay, so I'm going to just get some white fondant. Actually, you know what? Okay, so where's my gum paste? So I gotta have that much gum paste. So I'm gonna use about that much fondant. So I'm going to um, mix these two together. It's about 50-50. Probably a little, ooh, I don't know how I got black in there. But, okay. So I'm gonna mix these up real good. And I'm going to, first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna get a little ball of gum paste and you're gonna make the, um, kind of the center of the flower. And it's gonna um, be a, long, a small little oval shaped I don't know why I had black, because I just did, um, I actually used, got a little carried away with that, um, I actually did, um, modeling chocolate for the first time today, which was pretty fun, so, anyways, alright, so I think that's pretty well incorporated, alright, and you want to work fast, because gum paste dries out. So I guess I need. Okay. So I just put mine under a cup. Alright. So, so I need to roll a fourth of a ball of gum paste into a long. I want this a little much. Excuse my reach. I need to get a paper towel. I'm a little overboard there. Okay. So. I'm going to do about, I guess, that's about good. All right. So I'm going to roll this into, you know, I'm not very good with um, a fourth of an inch. So I'm just going to do it the way I think. All right. So now I'm going to, so you're going to roll it into a long little shape like that. Now I'm going to take a tool and just kind of, you want to make sure your tools have. Okay. All right. I want to take a. 
I always I wipe it here on my hand just to get the excess water off. All right, so this is the little center. My, probably could be a little bigger, but it's okay. Okay. All right, so I got my little center. Now I need two. Four, is that one? All right, so I need a little ball. I'm going to roll this little ball. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to take my tool and I'm just going to kind of slit it down the middle. And then I'm going to take some of my glue and I'm going to put it right here. You don't need a lot of water. And I'm going to come back and paint all this so um, it's okay. It's white on white. All right. So there's kind of the first step. So what you're going to do is you're going to set this aside. You're going to let it dry. And again, gum paste is going to dry quick. So, all right, so you're going to let that dry. Now I'm going to um, roll out some fondant gum paste mixture. Where's my little rolling pin? Sorry, got to reach again. So I have cornstarch down. You want to make sure that I have um, some black, I guess, leftover chocolate everywhere. So I'm going to roll this out. I do not have a pasta roller, which I would really like if my husband's watching. Um, just saying. My birthday's coming up. All right, so. Roll this out pretty thin. Okay. Now I'm going to use this little cutter. I'm going to cut that. And again, you want to put your gum paste back under your um, cut to keep it. Now I'm going to vein it. So you're going to put it on your veining mat. You're going to use your little pink thingy jiggy. Push it. Now I'm going to take it off. And then I'm going to get my ball tool. Again, you want to make sure you have flat, um, you know, whatever flour on there, cornstarch. You can also do this, you want to go around the edges and make the um, edges of the petal nice and thin. That makes it look natural. Now I did see somewhere, and I don't have, I'll just use this. Um, I'm just gonna cut a little bit in here just to make it look more realistic. I think it'll lay better. Okay. So now it says to take the blue tool and you're going to shape it. Again, you want to make sure you have your, this is the throat. So you're shaping the throat. Turn the page and see what it says next. Right. So now what you're going to do is you're going to take this little thing image you made just a couple minutes ago. You're going to lay it in the middle. You're going to get your paintbrush and you're going to wet it. I'm not even really look. I'm just kind of looking at the directions, not really. Now, you don't need to put a lot of water on your um, gum paste. It will stick. Um, okay, so you're just going to kind of roll this in. Okay. So you're going to roll it like so. It's kind of hard to see, but I'm going to pinch it a little bit down here. And now I'm going to fold it. Ooh. Ooh. It's coming 
off of my little centerpiece. let it fall back and I'll put it on a um, well, I can't use this because I need my rolling pin but you kind of want it to um, open up so I will get a um, let me get a little four okay so I'm going to use this I'm going to put it kind of out of the way over here I'm going to put my little flower on it and let it dry. Okay, so next I need my veining on the back of your impression mat is a veining tool. I'm going to take some more gum paste and I have, oops, I have two more little Orchid, um, what are they? Cutters. One's a wide orchid, one says wide orchid, and the other one says narrow orchid. Okay, so I'm going to put this on my veining mat and I'm going to roll it out. Okay. I'm going to take my, I'm going to make sure I get my, um, I'm going to get this in the center so my okay. I'll show you how that looks okay. all right so I'm going to take the wire and on the back here you see it has a little fold from the veining mat or from the, I guess it's veining mat, I don't know what it's called. So I kind of just stick it in there and fold it back. All right. Okay, I'm going to do the impression mat again. So I'm going to turn this, remember they're very delicate. I'm going to turn this over. I'm going to put it on there and I'm going to give it a nice impression and then I'm going to put it on my purple and I'm going to roll it out and you just kind of want the edge so you want your ball tool um, kind of on the edge of the mat and on the edge of the um, the flower so I'm going to lay this and three narrow so I just did one wide I'm gonna do one more wide while I'm doing it and this is for one flower To the, you don't want it too wet, so just kind of wipe it off on something. And I'm going to stick it in here. Okay. So it's kind of showing, but that's okay because I'm going to just dab it with a little water and I'm going to fold that little flap over. And when it dries, it'll be perfect. Right. Impression again. on here and again you're just going to go around the edges softening out the edges of the leaf all right and set that aside okay. 
Now I need, okay, so I did two wide. I need three narrow petals because those are in the back of the flower. So, so I need three of these. Okay. And unfortunately, my quite sure what this thing's called but this little mat that I have that does the um, the little flap for the wire I only have one on mine a lot of a lot of the ones that's in the book this shows two in one little on one mat but I don't know I don't know how I ended up with one so I have to do the flowers one by one, or the leaves one by one. Okay, so I'm gonna do that again. So I'm gonna imp do the impression. Nice amount of pressure. And then I don't know if you can see the difference. This one, um, this narrow cutter is obviously more narrow and this one kind of comes into more of a point almost like the bottom of a heart so again I'm gonna go around the edges these are gonna be in the very back of the orchid and I might put those on different um, drawing mats once I'm done Two more of these. And then what I'll do is, um, unfortunately, I do not have it ready, but I will um, let, let them dry. And then tomorrow, it's kind of late tonight, and tomorrow I will come back and show you how to put them together and how you can dust them. So I'll, I'm going to dust them and paint them myself. Uh, that's why I started out with white. I like white orchids. I actually like the orchids that are, um, I'm not sure the name of them. They look a little different. The center of the mouth part looks a little different, but I don't have that, the cutter for those, so I'll just do this. They, they go like this, but um, I don't know. I roll mine. So, anyways. Alright. One more, and then I got enough for that flower, and then I will do one more flower. And then what I'm going to do, this is for Mother's Day. I'm actually um, making a cake for my husband, which is going to be a ham radio. And um, I'm going to just make this little, I had enough batter left, so I'm going to make a small Mother's Day cake. Just going to have like a flower on top of it and just say Happy Mother's Day. It's not going to be anything fancy. Nothing fancy. Okay. And alrighty. So that is one. I'm gonna do one more, and um, I will come back and show you what it looks like when it's finished. Okay. So here's the orchid when it's done. Um, so you're just gonna hold all the all the um, wires together and just twist them. The um, narrow leaves are going to be in back and the wider ones are going to be up front and then the orchid, the center is going to kind of be upside down. So um, the white one that I did, that I showed you guys, it was too humid in the room and it fell apart. So now what you want to do is you want to paint it and you can just dust it you can dust it with whatever colors you want. So I'll probably, I guess 
I should have done that before. Lime green dust. Okay. My lime green. Okay. Let's see. Oof, do I have a... Alright. Got my other... Just do it like this. All right, so I'm just going to put it in the top hoops here so that I can put it back in the container. So I'm just going to kind of dust the ends of it and it's going to give it a little bit of a glow. You want to be careful that, you know, there's, it's still very delicate. I'm just going to go around the edges. Can kind of do this however you want you know it's just totally up to your preference you don't have to put any of this on this is like lime green with glitter mm. I feel like that petal is about to fall off too it's just so hot and humid here all right so I don't with it too much but I guess I don't. I have a, if you have markers like this, I'm gonna I'll be right back. Okay, so I went and got my red marker and I'm just gonna put little dots. In the mouth of it. Like that, it's kind of hard to see. I'm going to take a little bit of this brown. Let me get a little. Just going to take a little bit of this brown color and just go around the very tippy tippy of the mouth just to kind of make it stand out a little bit. And then maybe just add a little bit here. Again, it's just personal preference. It's kind of make it look a little realistic, give it some depth. So there is my orchid. Now I'm going to go ahead and just let her dry for a little bit more. I really don't want to handle it too much because I think one of the leaves is about to come off. Okay. So I'm just going to lay this on a cake. You can, you can actually make like a real orchid plant, but I'm just going to lay this on a cake. It's just a little. Mother's Day cake. So there you go. Thanks for watching.